Hi guys, so it's been about a year since I last made a video, I've been really busy, um, but this video is actually way overdue, it should have been done two years ago, and I know there are loads of these videos out on the internet at the moment, but I really wanted to make my own, um, and I've been meaning to do it for two years. That's how busy I've been, it's ridiculous. This little box of goodness arrived, actually two of them arrived um, recently because I ordered the Freestyle Libre by Abbott. Um, so these are the sensors, they are £50 each and they last for two weeks and it's continuous, um, continuous, not capillary, what's the word I'm looking for? Continuous glucose monitoring, it's not capillary. Um, so continuous glucose monitoring and it's basically, I'll show you, it's a little sensor that sits on the back of your arm, you scan a reader over it and it will instantly show you your glucose reading. Um, so I wanted to make a tutorial about how to insert the sensor because people email me and ask me on Twitter all the time how do you put these in, so I thought I may as well just make a video um, and then I can just show people that way. I was really lucky um, that I was one of the first people in the UK to be able to try one of these when Abbott asked myself and some other bloggers to go to London and to see the product and to learn more about it and to try them out for ourselves. So that was brilliant. Um, after that, Abbott did ask me to do a few photo shoots and a few videos for them when they um, provided sensors. So I didn't have to pay for those, which was lovely. My clinic also provided me with a few because I was having um, highs and lows that we couldn't really explain just through capillary glucose testing. So I used one of these bad boys um, for a couple of weeks. But now I'm funding them myself. Um, and I know that in September I will be working. I will be as scary as it sounds, a newly qualified nurse. So I'll have a job in September and my plan is that I'm going to try my hardest to um, fund one of these a month. So that will, it won't cover me the whole month, it'll only cover me for two weeks. But in my eyes that's better than nothing. I do review quite a few products, um, gadgets, pumps, technology, all sorts of things. And I always say um, to the company that sent it to me, I will be completely honest about your products. No one um, has a say over what I say. And I do talk about the pros and cons of the products. But I can honestly say, I don't have, and this is my personal opinion, I don't have anything bad to say about this, other than I want to spend £50 on shoes rather than a sensor. But I, I don't think I would spend 50 quid on a product if I really didn't like it. That would just be a waste when I could buy shoes instead. So yeah, I absolutely love this product. The customer service at Abbott is really good as well. I have to say, if anything goes wrong with your sensor, then they replace it straight away. I've only ever had good things from their um, customer service team. I'm going to stop babbling and do the tutorial. So this is the box it comes in. I always get so excited when the postman drops these off because um, it's like a little yellow box of sunshine and goodness and I know that inside is this like magical little gadget that will help me so much with my diabetes. I'm so excited. I actually got this yesterday and I had to wait till today to do the tutorial um, but I just didn't want to wait. So I've um, got a leaflet which I have to say I don't use. Um, this is just an instruction leaflet with pictures on the front and some scribbling on the back and when I last had these sensors I swear the leaflet was much much bigger they must have downsized it um, personally I, I used this on the first day when we were with Abbott putting the sensors in because I thought I don't want to cock it up um, Abbott probably won't be very pleased with me if I do it wrong so I've followed the instructions but ever since I've not used the instructions I tend to just watch YouTube tutorials if I want to know how to do something, or I just Google it. You get these two little plastic bits, um, they are the sensor and the inserter with a needle in it. The needle comes straight out, that's one of the first things that I asked when I was with Abbott trying it. Does the needle stay in? No, the needle comes straight out. So you don't need to worry about the needle staying in. And I've got an alcohol wipe to wipe the area um, on your arm that you're going to be inserting the sensor. And um, obviously I use these every time. I don't just throw them in the bin. I will be using it today. Um, fun tip, if you, not that I fake tan anymore, but if you do get fake tan on your hands, like you know when you get it here or you get it stuck in your nails, use an alcohol wipe. Um, to get rid of the stains. Fun fact from Laura. So I'm right-handed and I've only ever worn my Libre sensor on my left arm 
because I just find it's more comfortable to just scan with my right arm. But I think if I was using them all the time, I would switch between arms because I don't want to constantly have a sensor in the same arm. I don't know where I'm going to put it, so I'm just going to go nuts and just wipe everything. Oh, it smells like Sainsbury's Basics Vodka. Not that I would know what that's. I do, I've got a bottle of it out there actually. I'm trying to think um, where is the best place to put it, but at the moment I'm not at university, I'm writing my dissertation. Um, so it doesn't really matter where I put it, I'm not on placement, I don't need to worry about hiding it. Um, the only thing I need to worry about is knocking it. So I've peeled back the lid to this one. Does it have a name? To the sensor pack. Peel back the lid. I'll take the lid off, actually. Ugh. And what you do with this, which is the sensor applicator, you just need to unscrew it. So you've got your sensor in there. I don't know if you can see that. With your little needle in. Is the needle in this bit? Yes, the needle's in here. I'm sure, I'm sure of it. All you need to do is find this little groove here and this dip here, and you just need to line them up. It's so easy. So put them in together, line them up, click. Right. So they're both, they are one. They are one now. You can see that there's a needle in there. I think you can see that there's a needle in there. All you need to do now, let's show you is find a position for your sensor. So, people tend to go like this. I don't know, I just go like this. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna, yeah, let's sh shake things up a bit. <laughs> and go this way. I don't know where I want it though. Doesn't matter, does it? So indecisive today. All you do is decide on where you want to put it, and then, you push the grey bit down. I can honestly say I've never felt any pain from doing this. This might be the first time you might find me screaming. <laughs> so let me show you. All you do is push down. Oh my god! No, it didn't hurt at all. I leave it for a few seconds. I think you're supposed to. I'm sure it probably says in the instructions leave it for a few seconds. I'm just wait waiting for the adhesive bit to stick. So it's pushed down, it is inserted, it is in my arm, and then just gently, gently wiggle, and you've got a sensor stuck on your arm. So the needle's in here, this needs to go in your sharp spin, so you might need to get one of those massive, massive, hideous looking yellow sharp spins. There we go. It's so, so easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Next, you just need to get your reader, and I will show you. I need to find my reader. Okay, so this is the um, Freestyle Libre reader. Libra? Libre? I don't know. Libre. Sounds a bit fancier. Make sure it's charged up. I haven't used mine for a while, so it does need charging. You have this screen. You only have one button, so push the on button. And it says, start sensor now or review history. I apologise if this has blood smears on it, but you know how it goes. I'm going to push start sensor now. And it says to scan your sensor to start it. So I think I will. And it makes a little vibration sound. Um, it might make a beep, I don't know, I don't tend to have beeps on. And it says that it's starting up my sensor and the sensor will work within 60 minutes. That's it. That's basically how you insert a Freestyle Libre sensor and how you start the scanning process, I guess. Really easy. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments box below or tweet me at Ninjabetic1 or find me on Facebook at Ninjabetics or on Instagram, Laura slash Ninjabetic. I Feel free to ask me any questions you have and um, let me know about your experience of inserting your Freestyle Libre sensor.